Hi, my name is Eric Latender. I'm author of the ebook 22 Ways to Get More Clients for Your Dog Training Business. In this video, I want to talk to you about a huge marketing mistake that I make see a lot of uh, business owners do. And uh, here in Western Mass, where I live, there's a big fair that they put on every year. It's called the Big E. And they have a bunch of animal exhibits, and they have rides, and, uh, and then they have a bunch of vendors. And it's always exciting for me to go watch the vendors selling all the stuff that they do, you know, the mops and the sham wows. Those guys are just so much fun to watch for a guy like me. I like watching the whole sales process. And uh, when I was there this just a couple of days ago, they had salsa in seconds. All you got to do is take a scoop of this stuff, throw it in some tomatoes or in some sour cream, whip it together, and you got instant salsa. And I was like, oh, I love salsa. And so... Um, as I went up there, he had a little display and you could try it out. And I was like, oh, this stuff's really good. So he did some things right. He let me sample the product, which as dog trainers we need to do. We should let our, our um, potential clients sample us by seeing how our dogs perform, by giving them just a little bit of information. But then what he did is he said, hey, when you're ready to get some more, I have my website right here. Just go ahead and order some more. And when he did that, I felt really bad and I, and, I, and I was really sorry for his loss and I turned to my wife as we were walking away and I said you know he just made a huge mistake there because what he did is he put it on me to make sure that I contact him and that's a big mistake in business never leave it up to your customers what he should have done is he should have sold me this canister and right there as he was selling to me should have offered me a little slip of paper and said hey if you put your name and address on here I'll give you 50% off your next canister now, once he gets that back, he has my contact information. He can stay in touch with me. If he has my email address, if he has my mailing address, he can now send me offers. And this is so important when you run a business because if he got the name and address of everybody that bought this stuff while he was, at, while he was a vendor at the show, if he had a huge pile of names, as soon as he gets home from the show, he could send out a mailing to all of them or an email to all of them with an offer for the 50% off or for an offer for more of this stuff. But he could stay in touch with me. He could stay in touch with all those people that bought from him and he could develop long-term clients. But you know what? He's never going to do that because he didn't collect any information. So in your dog training business, don't make the mistake of just looking at somebody as a one-time customer. Look at them as a long-term client. They're going to be a long-term client if you get their contact information and you follow up with them on a regular basis. If you follow up with them on a regular basis, you'll have a much more stable business. And you also need to look at it as dog owners need help. They have questions. You know, They have questions about behavior, about obedience, about nutrition, about uh, just general dog care. You can provide that information. <clears throat> so you're developing more of a relationship. So very important. Always click contact information. Always do follow up. Stay in touch with your customers. You'll have a much more stable business. Don't forget you can get my free ebook, 22 Ways to Get More Clients for Your Dog Training Business, at my website, themarketingpitbull.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.